A huge surprise this morning for a college student in the Bronx. The MTA says she's the one billionth subway rider this year. She got some prizes for it, but the MTA is the real winner here. This is the first time it surpassed the one billionth passenger mark since 2019. Here's Eyewitness News reporter and Jay Burkett. Congratulations, you're the one billion customer in the NTA and I was like, is this real? Sasha Salazar is one in a billion. The one rider who put the transit system over the top today with the subways and buses chalking up one billion rides in 2022. Thank you to everybody who's been riding with us all year, especially lucky number one billion, Sasha Salazar. <laughs> Sasha was given the ceremonial distinction as the year's one billionth rider. Stopped as she entered the subway at the 161st Street station in the Bronx this morning while headed downtown to see the movie Avatar. She received a $100 transit Omni card, free membership in the Transit Museum, and a framed work of subway art. I woke up this morning just thinking, oh, I'm going to head to the movies. I see two, two men. Congratulations! <laughs> and I was just so shocked and surprised. The MTA measures riders by Metro card swipes and credit card taps and has not logged one billion rides since 2019. The number does not include rampant rates of fare evasion, but it's a pandemic milestone for the agency, which has been struggling to attract riders despite hybrid work schedules and troubling rates of violent crime. Major crime in transit is up 30% this year. Big milestone, positive milestone, much better than last year, much, much better than 2020, and a sign of progress as we move forward into what we hope will be an even better year. In 2019, ridership was 1.7 billion. Yes, 1 billion riders in 2022 seems like a big number, but MTA officials can only hope this is not the new normal. 